I don't think we're going to have any trouble scaring them homesteaders out. All you have to do is to point a gun at them and they'll run like jackrabbits. Uh, you're wasting your time, Dad. The only way to get rid of them land grabbers is to riddle their hides. Clay, some of these days that itchy trigger finger of yours is going to get you into a heap of trouble. I don't want to hear any more of this killer talk. The men elected me as head of the Cattlemen's Association because they believed in my advice. And we're going to handle this thing like real men. Another one of those threats. Be careful how you open the door, Joe. Glad it's you, Marshal. We just received another one of those warnings. Have you been able to find out anything? You know we're in our rights. I know you are, Ma. But tracing a note like this ain't easy. Any one of the ranchers in the whole valley could have written it. They're all together in this movement to run you homesteaders out. I reckon if Lem Morgan could be to speak, we might find out something. Now, don't be too hasty, Maul. While Morgan is dead set against you, he generally deals out in the open. I don't see why there should be so much trouble. There's plenty of land here for everybody, and the few acres we have shouldn't cause any hard feelings. I should think this could be settled in a friendly way. I have to pass Morgan's ranch on my way back to town. I'll drop in and have another talk with him. Thanks. Everything will be all right. What does it say, Dad? Ah, uh, don't mean a thing, son.
Well, there's another homesteader that won't settle in Paradise Valley. <laughs> yeah. What happened? What's wrong? I don't know. We ran into a sign down the road to turn back. When we refused, they opened fire on us from ambush. The murderers! They shot down my boy! We didn't have a chance. Need to be friendly with people who deliberately come into this valley and steal my land? It ain't your land. It belongs to the government. More powder is right, Mr. Morgan. Paradise Valley ain't free range anymore. The government's declared it closed range, and anybody with a government lease is free to come in here and settle. Come on. We're wasting our time here. Let's be going. I'm warning you that you're making a mistake. You can't buck the government. And that's what you'll be doing if you raise a hand against these homesteaders. Looks like me and my future son-in-law are going to tangle. Mr. Morgan, I have no personal feelings in this matter. I don't make the law, I'll do it. But if the law fails us, we'll give bullet for bullet before we'll run. You have my word. Like we're on opposite sides of the fence, Ann. Bruce, is Dad really in the wrong? Yes, Ann, he is. Times are changing. Your father can't realize it. Meddling with the government is serious business. If fighting your father means fighting you, I'd rather turn in my star. Bruce, you mustn't do that. Well, that would look as if you were... I know I'd be resigning under fire, running away. And even if I did hand in my star, it wouldn't do any good. The government would send in another man. Let's not give up hope, Ruth. Hope so.
<laughs> you fellas smell something around here? Yeah. I thought so. Listen, Morgan, can we be friends? Caesar. You've got a lot of nerve. You and your mangy breed. Come around here stealing our range and everything. What do you think you're getting away with? There certainly must be land enough for all of us. And I, why, you dirty range stealing scum? I ought to. Put away your gun, Morgan. I ain't armed. You must be tight. Tight, huh? Me? I'll get this, all of you. It was self-defense. He came in here looking for trouble, Marshal, and drew first. It won't do, Blake. I saw you plant the gun. Your lying won't help Clay any. It might even get you into trouble. What are you going to do now? I'm going to arrest Clay Morgan for murder, Sam. Bruce Manning, he's on his way out to the ranch to arrest him now. Yeah. They just telephoned me from town. I only shot in self-defense, Dad. That, that far fellow he come in, he asked for it. He drew first. He did. Are you telling me the truth? What? It's Bruce. He's come for you, Clay. But if what you've told me is the truth, there's nothing to be afraid of. You better get ready to come with me, Clay. What for? Shooting in self-defense is no crime. I wish that was the truth, Mr. Morgan. But unfortunately, it isn't. It is. It's true. I had three witnesses. Keenan and Morgan were there. I know Blake and the others tried to cover you, Clay, but whatever they might say can't change what I saw with my own eyes. I was at the window and I saw you beat it out the door. And I saw Blake plant the gun in the dead man's hand. It ain't true. Dad, it ain't true. Mr. Morgan, Clay shot down an unarmed man. I don't believe it. Clay 
Ray has never lied to me, and no man could ever make me believe that a son of mine would be guilty of a thing like that. That's for the law to decide. Come on, Clay, let's get going. I won't go, I tell you, I won't go! You can't take him, Bruce! Bruce, he's my brother! But, Anne, I have no choice. You're not taking him, Marshal. Interfering with the law is bad business, Mr. Morgan. Go, Clay. Come with me, Clay, or you'll never stand trial. What do you want? Some for your arm. Get up. Get on your heart. He's got clay.
I'm sorry about your cold, Gray. Sit down. I knew Dad wouldn't let you hold me here. You're foolish, Bruce. You haven't got a chance. That'll smoke you out. He has to get every ranch in the valley to help him, and you know it. Why don't you turn me loose? You can tell him I got away. I'll get out of the valley and I'll... I'll you know what will happen then. This won't be Paradise Valley anymore. It'll be Ambush Valley. More powder in those nesters, ain't jackrabbits? They're not going to crawl into their holes and forget just because you've disappeared. It will be war. Range war. With a lot of innocents getting in the way of bullets. If you will. Got the marshal trapped in there with Clay. Marshal, I'm giving you your last chance to release Clay before we start smoking you out. Then I reckon you better begin smoking me out, Mr. Morgan. He's out. He's out cold. Then we'd better keep him out. He's the only one that can bear witness against you, Clay. Now, wait a minute, boys. I'm not in favor of this. But, Dad, it's his life or mine. Now, now, look. If we could shut his mouth... There won't be any witnesses. His body will be found, and that's all. Horse is gone. Come on, spread out. He can't be far away.
Take me to him, boy. I can't understand how he got away. He was badly hit. You two fellas ride into town. Watch his office. Doc Wilson's place. He may show up there. That Morgan girl. You think maybe she knows where that brother of hers is hiding? It's worth finding out. won't get hurt. If you're looking for my brother, you're wasting your time. I came here to find Bruce Manning. He's been hurt. Well, he ain't around here. You better come along with us. I'll attend to him. What happened to you? You just had a little accident. You sure that Morgan Breed had nothing to do with your accident? I reckon there's no use lying to you, Maul. I had Clay Morgan, but he got away. I figured that. But I'll get Clay yet. Don't you worry, Maul. You better lie down and take it easy. You've lost a lot of blood. We didn't find the murder in the well, but we brought along some bait that's liable to fetch him out of his hole. I reckon Morgan might be willing to trade his son for his daughter. Why, Ma, I know you wouldn't do a thing like that. And why not? Kyle's message ain't too low to use on the likes of Morgan's. Think what they did to my boy. I'm holding her as hostage. And when her father delivers into my hands the murderer of my boy, 
you can have her. Then you intend to take the law into your own hands. Looks like I'll have to, seeing as how you have too many to handle alone. Do you realize what that means? If it means war, we're ready for it. We've stood enough from them cattlemen. Morgan will have every cattleman in the valley riding with him. He'll wipe you out. I reckon he'll think twice before sacrificing his own daughter. What do you mean by that? It means that if Morgan refuses my offer and tries force, his daughter's life will pay for the person Nestor that falls. Get in the house. And get, I'm going to go right over to the crossroads store and point. to watch the marshal. Well, you get over to Collins' place and tell him to come pronto and bring some of his boys. Yeah, but uh, what's Go that on. They've got Ann. The squatter? Yes. We'll wipe out every blasted one of the vermin. Out of the way, Bruce. I'll plug both of you before I let you leave this room. Put down those guns. And I'm not going to let you send Anne to her death. They won't dare harm her. Come on, Clay, you're going with me. here and watch him until I come back. Then we'll settle with him. It'll be a pleasure. Mr. Morgan, if you weren't such a stubborn old fool, you'd realize... Listen, Clay, if anything happens to your sister, you'll have something to think about as long as you live. Don't worry. My dad won't let anything happen to her. You know that.
That looks like the Morgan outfit. You better let Mo Potter know. Don't turn me over to them. I won't have a chance. And I suppose you deserve a chance. What chance did you give Mo Potter's boy? And then you tried to crawl out of it by lying to your father. All you think about is your own miserable hide. What about your father and the other ranchers? Play. This is your chance to wipe out some of the rottenness you've done. All right, Bruce. I don't want anyone to suffer on my account. I'm ready to go. Come on. Let's get going. We've got to hurry.
Morgan! You shot Clay! Stop! Clay, Clay, I didn't know it was you. It's all right, Dad. I, I, I had it coming to me. I, I killed you, Joe Potter. He, he didn't, he, he didn't even have a gun. I was drunk. Dad. You can lay down your guns, Mal. Clay Morgan is dead. His father shot him by mistake. you felt when when you lost your boy. There's land enough in the valley for for all of us. Don't you suppose we could be friendly, neighborly? <laughs> 